Hello students, how are you all? Hope you all are doing good and fit and fine. A very warm welcome to everyone in this session of introduction session for 9th foundation course in complete English. In today's, I am not going to impart a lecture to all students. I am here to tell you about my upcoming new course of 9th foundation course in complete English. I have already recorded 9th and 10th foundation course Olympiad courses. But that course was in bilingual language. That is, I have used English as well as Hindi language. So, now I am designing a new course for the students who are in 9th class, but the language is in complete English. Okay. Now, what are the, uh, we can say what are the points or we, uh, we can say what are the perspective, what are the aspects of this course. I am going to take some few time of all students. First of all, the students who have problem in understanding Hindi language or the students who want only uh, the lecture in complete English, they, they are going to be become very happy because this course is going to be upcoming in complete English language. So, no problem with language. I am going to just tell you the key points of this upcoming course of mine. No problem with language. Second, in this course, my I have tried my best to give both NCRT level theory and NTSC or other competitive examinations theory. Because, okay, in 10th standard you are giving, uh, you are going to give your NTSC examination, but the subjects in 9th class are very much interrelated, correlated and in coordination with the 10th standard chapters. So, over here, my, I try my best to give theory completing all the essential, each and every point of your NCRT plus competitive exams. Competitive exams. Now, after completion or after reading the theory, you are able to give board, home board exams properly. Even studying the higher level of theory that is in, uh, all the aspects which are going to cover with this competitive examination, going to help you solve the various MCQs. So in this course, not only theory is available, after completion of each and every chapter, I have discussed all the NCRT exercises, the question of NCRT given at the last of every uh, chapter in NCRT or textbook and the various NCRT exemplar problems which are asked from the midline of any line from the NCRT book as well as the various MCQs asked in various competitive examination held on both 9th as well as 10th standard level. So students, this is the upcoming complete course so that you are able to grab good marks in your board's examination that is uh, the uh, student is going to have a board examination in 9th class or having a home board because in this course I have uh, given you the flow chart. I have given you the diagrammatic representation of tougher theory because students encounter so many problems in memorizing the theory. I'm going to tell you one thing again and again, don't memorize the theory in biology, always use, always interpret the theory in a logical manner as much as you can. Because in biology, whatever you are studying related to plants and animals, it is actually related to your practical life, mainly the chapters related to zoology. The chapters related to zoology, the things related to theory related to animals, you are going to relate with you because you are the supreme animal. You are included in the kingdom Animalia. Okay, you are evolved so much. So, by giving the theory in the, I try my best to give the theory in maximum flowchart form irrespective of the points or paragraph because writing a theory in a flowchart Thinking a theory in a flowchart or interpreting everything in a flowchart, actually relating that thing with the flow of your mind. Okay, students. So these are the key points which I want to share with you in my upcoming 9th class foundation course. Okay, students. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.